Alright. People are curious about uh, what is my setup for my studio, especially the Kyung location. And uh, so during this uh, pandemic, uh, a lot of people are my serious thinking about having your own studio. So I'm just introducing my studio to you or my setup to you uh, for your reference. If you find any information that is the word to pick it up, okay. So this part is the one I'm moving into my new home. Uh, I find out there is an empty spot here. So I have people pouring the concrete uh, for me. This was uh, just a uh, third here. So clean up and then uh, pour concrete on the floor. In the meantime, I have them uh, set up uh, the post, okay, two posts here. So that uh, around the, this post, I uh, build a patio. Uh, let's see from the top. So that's the uh, patio and I put the, uh, the roof on top of it. The uh, plastic uh, roof. Okay, so uh, my kiln is uh, underneath of the uh, the roof, so uh, there's no rain is going to affect it. And also, uh, the wind is blowing. So on the side of uh, the wall, okay, this wall here. This wall here, I have a plywood, a uh, very thin plywood. I just nailed it. This is my chimney, so I just nailed it here. Nailed it on the post, so the wind is not blowing over. Um, the rain is affecting it. It's, the, uh, it's underneath of the roof, and then uh, there's a, a plywood there, so uh, it's, it's safe there. So that's basically my setup. You see the uh, the table there. That was my working bench for uh, uh, grinding or polishing the uh, trimming tools. Okay, so that's my working area. And let me bring my camera closer so you see my uh, kiln location. All right, right here. This is the location of my kiln and uh, it's outside so I don't have a ventilation. Uh, it's not going to affect anybody because outside is open air. Um, the uh, clearance for the wall here is about, uh, I would say, a little bit uh, more than a foot. Okay, this is my, my hand here, so, and also here, it's even closer. This is the uh, uh, stucco wall, stucco wall, and that's the uh, cable. So uh, even closer than it's only the length of my fingertips from my thumb to my fingers, mm, fingertip. And uh, I've been firing to Colton 11. I don't have any problem. And the major setup is the uh, <clears throat> the plug here. And when I have a people wire my uh, washer and uh, dryer, I have then uh, wire that uh, also from the rooftop and then uh, wire it down here. So that's the uh, 220 power. And this kiln is the 220 single phase. Uh, the model number is uh, KM1027. It's a Scott kiln, Scott kiln. Um, this is the uh, black. And also extended, have the, uh, elect uh, the elect electrician um, do all the wires. So I have a, a, another uh, 220 here. So if, in case I want to plug any 220 and then extend it to uh, 110. So this is 110. And the two plugs here so that I can uh, plug in my uh, grinding machine there grinding machine there okay so that's my setup and uh, it's been working pretty well uh, 
the kiln has been, uh, I moved in this house 2002, it's 18 years, and uh, I, uh, I sell them fire lit. Okay, so this kiln has been more than 20 years from my old house I moved to here. Um, I just find out the uh, controller is a little bit uh, too old. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So that's why um, when uh, I'm decided to uh, fire uh, oxidation in my home, I uh, replaced the uh, control panel. So this is the new one, the new one. And I um, wired it and then uh, installed it here. Um, this is the new model, so um, I can check the uh, temperature inside my house, so I don't need to come outside very often. But this is the kiln is very old, okay, 20 plus years old, so it worked out pretty well. Okay, so that's my setup. Okay, and you saw me uh, unload the kiln uh, a couple of days ago. Okay, so this is the kiln. Um, I think it's plenty, it's big enough for me, for my personal use, okay? And uh, some of the plug is broken. I saw uh, in some of the uh, discussion, how do you uh, replace it, okay? Uh, actually, I don't, okay? Just uh, just plug it in. Um, I sell them to uh, use this to uh, the very low one, so just plug it in. And uh, if uh, you wanna, it bothers you, uh, if that's, it's uh, fireable, you can just fire in the kiln and they'll groove back. Or you can use the uh, soft bricks, okay, soft bricks, and then I uh, just cut out the, the size and that should work. Or you can just throw it on the wheel and make the size like that and it's also working. Okay, so that's the, uh, the setup of my kiln and the outside of uh, my studio, my home. Right, so how this information help? And also when you are firing the kiln, um, the very first fire, you might wanna set up, uh, put some uh, compact on different levels and to check the temperature of the kiln. Uh, I'm sure the uh, very bottom, the temperature is maybe a one cone lower. So if you wanna fire like two cone 10 or cone 11, uh, the very part of the shop is a little bit uh, lower, so uh, check it, put the cone on different levels so you know uh, what is the hottest spot in the kiln and what is the coolest spot in the kiln. Then when you are loading the kiln, according to the glaze, some of the glaze, they have more mature range. So uh, more mature range meaning that uh, cone 11 is mature and cone, 10, cone 9 is mature. You can put that and then um, if you, the, the glaze is mature at cone 11, then maybe a cone 10, you put it in the hardest spot. Okay, so that's how you load the kiln. Okay, I hope this information helped. So here is another picture. Uh, if you wanna protect your kiln when you're not firing it, to use a shower curtain, just cover it. It's dirty, but uh, it works. Yeah, it works to cover it. Now um, I can put a piece of a brick or something to, uh, to hold it. I can hold it in case the wind is blowing. If you uh, let it open like that, put something heavy to uh, on top of it, so it covers it. And also, uh, by the way, uh, there's another uh, kit that might help you too. Uh, since I have two posts here, so in the winter time, it's a rainy time in California, Northern California. So I, w I don't want the, uh, the moisture to come in. So, uh, so this is my setup. Okay? So I can just, uh, just put this uh, tarp, this tent over hang it over and then I just lock it so that uh, I could also
So I could also work inside without uh, getting too cold or the rain is not going in there. Okay. So that might be uh, another idea for you. Uh, if you are... Uh, That might be an idea for you if you are uh, uh, putting your, your phone outside. Uh, that is also very good uh, uh, and very inexpensive way to just flap the wind. And uh, so far it works so well for me. And I can even uh, find it or polish my tool here without getting too cold. The wind is blowing or, or the rain is raining. Okay, so that's another tip for you, all right? So I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.